What's up everybody? I am Megan Zimba from MTD CNC and we're filming a special edition school edition here at Beloit Memorial High School in Beloit, Wisconsin. Today I have with me Charlie Zimba. Yes, there's similarity in the name because fun fact, we're related. This is my nephew. Hey, Charlie, what's up? How are you doing? I'm good. So Charlie, you are what year in I'm school? I'm a junior. Okay. How, how are you like in high school so far? I love high school. Are you lying? Cause no, I... no, I really like it here. Okay. And you are also a swimmer, one of the best swimmers here at yeah. the team, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm bragging about my nephew. <laughs> Deal with it. So, Charlie, uh, one of the things that we want to focus on is obviously the CNC program and some of the, the Votech programs here. Mm -hmm. So, before you signed up for this class, did you know what CNC machining was? Yeah, I took... Uh, before this year, I took a CNC class my freshman year. Uh, I didn't know what it was before then but I think since I took a freshman year, it really made me want to do it again this year. So when you saw that description your freshman year, what was it about it that made you say, huh, I want to try this out? I don't know, when I was picking my classes, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, and it, it just, I heard it was like a big machine, and I don't know, I thought it could be fun. And that caught your yeah. interest? I got in the class with a friend, so I thought oh, I could okay. figure out, it'd be fun. So what, sort of things do you like about CNC machining like what I like that it's really hands-on okay you, you get to see what you're doing while you're doing it mm -hmm. like it's not like English where you're just like writing an essay all day like this class <laughs> you're you're on a machine and you're milling metal or you're milling wood and you really get to see what you're doing right was it hard for you to pick up like learning the programming stuff and um it's definitely confusing there's a lot of random numbers and letters and but once you get the hang of it, I think mm -hmm. it's just fun. Gotcha. So what are some of the things that you're working on now within this class? Right now, we're just kind of learning basics. Um, we have a really small class, and when we joined, we found some equipment that was never being used. So we um, are learning how to use, like, there's like a, another computer inside the machine, so we're kind of messing around with that. Yeah. It's fun to use. Um, we haven't started online, like, like the CAD systems online yet, okay. but I'm excited to get into that once we can too. So is CNC machining something you're thinking about as a career pathway or what are your plans after graduation? I know you're a junior. Yeah, uh, I don't know necessarily if I want to do it for a career path, but I haven't really thought about it much either. Okay, so you don't know what you're going to do after graduation? No, not really. And that's perfectly okay, because not everybody knows and not everybody wants to go to a four-year college. It's fine. So Charlie, I want to thank you for joining me today, but I have one final question. For anyone who is trying to figure out the rest of their class schedule, whether they're a freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior, um, why should they take CNC machining? I think they should take CNC because in the end, usually it's a really small class. Like I have, okay. I have four or five kids in my class, so it's really one-on-one -on -one with the teacher, and it's just really an enjoyable class to be in. And I like, I might learn a lot of random stuff, mm -hmm. but it's still like, it's still fun to know. And it's just, it's a really enjoyable class. Awesome. Well, Charlie, thank you again. I'm Megan Zimba from MTD CNC. This has been another special edition for our school edition here at Belay Memorial High School. Um, if you're a manufacturer, please get connected with your local high schools because then you can teach awesome kids like this. Charlie Zimba, yes, I'm biased. He's my nephew, but that's okay. Take care, everyone.